Hey everyone, so today we're going to talk about uh, sunglasses. I think a lot of us are quite stuck in our ways when it comes to sunglasses and in my experience that I had just experienced, I laid out my sunglasses. I don't usually keep them in the same place, so I laid them out all together and I realized that they're all kind of the same. Why am I keeping so many sunglasses? They're so similar to each other. So um, I'll show you the ones that I have. Um, these, this is the oldest pair. This is Betsy Johnson pair of sunglasses, a uh, big tortoise, tortoise, tortoise shell um, with a bit of a gradient. A really Hollywood star look, I'm hiding from paparazzi kind of sunglasses, and I do like them. They have the cat eye. Cat eye is what I apparently reach for. I thought I was versatile with my sunglasses, but I don't think I am. Um, next pair is a pair that I'm thinking of getting rid of because they just simply, I don't think, pair well with the stuff that I own in my closet. These are Jimmy Choo's, uh, so wonderful sunglasses, but again, the same very versatile cat eye. They're quite reflective, um, they're completely dark, and uh, this, I thought it was cool to get something like yellow and black combination for the summer, but the more I sort of try to use them, the more I realize that these aren't so wearable with my wardrobe. Um, they're cool. They have this snake texture on the top and sort of yellow-orange uh, frame on the bottom. And on the side, they're also black. I am confused uh, as to what I can pair this with. Um, I don't really have mustards in my wardrobe so much. I have like a single mustard cardigan and a single mustard t-shirt and that's it. So I'm not really entirely confident I'll keep those around just because they're not super wearable apparently with my current wardrobe. So I might try to sell them. Then we have uh, these guys. <laughs> this is a cheapy but a goodie. And these I, I got because they were kind of trendy. These are by Guess. Um, there's a pair that Dior made that I wanted to get. But then I thought I'll go for the cheaper version and see how much I love it if I absolutely love it. And then I'll buy the more expensive ones. So I actually really, really like it, but I did come to think that it's kind of a little bit uh, trendy. I need to clean them because I've grabbed them with my grubby little fingers and they like finger marks everywhere. But uh, yeah, it, it looks great on my face. I think this frame suits me very well, but this bar, this kind of shape is very trendy right now. So I'm not sure if it's going to become a classic or not. I doubt it. Now to the three pairs that I absolutely will probably keep as long as I can in my wardrobe. They're very, very classic. Um, my very favorite pair is this one by Gucci. And they're this, this classic cat eye and they're completely black. Black, um, um, black glass, black frames, everything is just super classic. And this one <laughs> pairs with anything and everything. And I think it's very flattering. It's sort of a... A minimal cat eye. It's not out there. It's uh, really a basic pair of sunglasses that will go with everything, which is what I love. And I think that's what I'm probably be gravitating towards in the future with the sunglasses apparently being adventurous like I was with these things. It just doesn't pay off. I mean, it's just, it doesn't work. It just doesn't work. Next pair that I actually really like is another very versatile pair. And this one is by David the uh, Derek Lamb. There they are, they're a gradient one, and uh, kind of similar in a way, but smaller, more compact, more sort of uh, uh, basic, less, they're really not a statement, and they're easy to pull off, I think also pair with everything, and uh, these ones are similar to the previous Gucci ones, but these ones have a bit of a gradient, a bit of a different look, like a smoky glass here. So um, I do like these, and I think they're quite classic. The last one is by Brian Atwood, and this wasn't really a designer that I ever had on my radar until I saw these sunglasses and I really, really liked them. These are one of these big Hollywood hiding from paparazzi sort of sunglasses, and they have also gradient, and I love how they look. I think they're very fun, I think they're easy to wear, and I think it's nice that they shield a lot of your face from the sun. And what sold me was really this beige tortoise shell. I think this is a really interesting way to do tortoise shell. Um, so comparing between these two, I really feel like I'm going to declutter these because they're just not as cool. They look a little bit more dated and they are because they're much older. These ones are a lot more current, so I'm decluttering this pair. 
Uh, and uh, these guys I think are super cool. They look interesting and they will fill this tortoiseshell need that I have. I always have a pair of tortoiseshell sunglasses. Uh, one type of sunglasses that I never wore or probably will wear is white framed sunglasses. I don't know, just they look funny on me. I'm not sure why. I don't think they're un, like, uninteresting because I think it's very Italian to have like a white brimmed hat and white framed sunglasses, but just not a look that works for me. Um, so currently I'm going to keep definitely these three pairs, like the Gucci, the Brian Atwood and the Crosby. Uh, and th this pair I'll keep until they break. Uh, this is the Guess pair because I, I find them really fun. These ones I will try to wear this summer and if it doesn't work out, I'll sew. And these guys, I will, the Betsy Johnson ones, I'll pass on to somebody who might need sunglasses, but I'm over these. Um, I just, I don't love them as much as I used to. So that's it, a bit of a declutter unexpectedly and uh, I will uh, update you maybe at the end of the season. What did I keep? Did I lose any? Did I buy more? So that's it for today. Is there, is there a favorite sunglasses brand that you have that you really think make very, very nice frames? I'm kind of contemplating trying out Tom Ford sunglasses because they seem to be really popular and classic, but we'll see. So far, I think Gucci were a winner for me. They're my favorites. And I also saw a few pairs this uh, season that I thought were really cute, so I might actually pick up. But uh, for now, I think I have enough. I have five pairs that I'm keeping, with one being a maybe. That's it for today. See you guys later. Bye-bye.